just on the perimeter. For the last five buckets. Oh, oh that was oh, something. Oh, I mean, just man. Grant, the bubble was a success. It really was, the yeah. end. You have to tip your hat to the end. We know he can knock down a better shot. You can call that. My opponent is 10 and 2. He is the Phoenix Suns, number one in the West. His lineup is Campbell Walker, Gordon Hayward, Kawhi Leonard. So this matchup is gonna be Kawhi against Paul George, the matchup of the evening. We get a steal. Paul George. So this is my second game of the season, but the first one on my channel. The first one was a really ugly game to be honest. A lot of turnovers, a lot of missed shots. So that's why I didn't really upload it. It was a loss. The score was like 40 to 30. It was really ugly. <laughs> but this game is much better, more exciting. So we start off 6 and 0. Oh. Kawhi Leonard in the post on Paul George. Good defense, but he makes the layup. So I'm still learning the plays. I'm learning the player tendencies. That was a nice pass from Chris Paul. The bullet pass badge that Chris Paul has really, really helps a lot. Especially when I run plays, the passes are so fast. Like it gets there <laughs> right away. Very helpful. Kemba Walker does a step back. Ended up fouling him. So it's a lot of action already in this first quarter. I'm trying to take my time. He backs up. Malcolm Brogdon with the three-point shot. I'm going into paint once again. I find Derek White. Back to Brogdon, back to back. It's a miss, but that was a good ball movement. Kawhi Leonard, right to left crossover. He gets in the paint. Layup over my defender. So Kawhi Leonard is keeping them in the game as this first quarter. I'm running another play for Derek White. The thing I like about Derek White is that he's really fast. His speed is, I think, a 95. Chris Paul with the steal. I love Chris Paul, man. His passing, his steals, he brings everything to the table. Running another play right here. Back to CP3. Double screen. He goes under. Chris Paul, green release. Whenever I have Chris Paul in my online leagues, I really love him. I really know how to, how to use him properly. A lot of people don't like Chris Paul because they don't know how to use him properly. But I feel like I've learned how to use him throughout the years on 2K. Green release to end the quarter. So that's how when I was able to pick him up, I was really happy. Nice pass right here. He's orchestrating the offense. So what my plan is to start the season is I use Paul George in the first quarter. And then in the second quarter, I try to use Chris Paul to orchestrate the offense. Nice reverse layup right here. Because when my bench comes in the game, they need all the help they could get. And Chris Paul has floor general. He has dimer. He has bullet passer. Nice crossover on Kobe White. I made him fall asleep. So Chris Paul looks like he's in his prime right here. Pull back, mid-range green. I got him leaning. Gordon Hayward drives in the paint. We end up tipping this ball. Jonathan Isaac on the break. Easy dunk. So that's one thing I really like about this team is that even if my offense isn't there, defensively, I drafted good players that could play good defense to keep me in the game. Kawhi Leonard with the fadeaway on Paul George. Nice contest. So it's still a five-point game in the second quarter. I wanted to do a standing three, but he ended up pulling up. That messed up my shot. So Kawhi Leonard is going on the right side. I intercepted. I read it beautifully. <laughs> That's why I like Brogdon, man. He's 6'5 as a point guard with a long wingspan. He could intercept a lot of passes. We bring a double to Kawhi Leonard. He finds Gordon Hayward. Beautiful rotation. I'm going to let Aiden shoot. I really don't mind Aiden taking a mid-range shot. I'd rather have that than Kawhi Leonard or Gordon Hayward with a wide open three. So I'd rather let other players beat me than Kawhi. So that's that was my game plan, honestly. So another nice play right here. Kawhi on Paul George. Stutter step move, I get in the paint, contact, and he finishes. No and one though. Seven point game, he's getting in the paint to Kawhi Leonard. That was a <laughs> that was a broken play, but he still made it. So one second left, drifting three with Paul George. I don't know how I made that, but I got lucky there. 
Kawhi Leonard with the air ball. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard is in playoff game seven mode already. Paul George is gonna capitalize with the layup. We open up the lead to a double digit lead. So nice play right here. Paul George cutting, but he misses the dunk. I don't know how he missed that. So 20 seconds left in the first half. His driving into paint with Kemba Walker. He dishes it inside. Great paint defense by Jonathan Isaac. Can we get a basket to end the quarter? All the way to the paint. Kick it out to Paul George. Nice screen. Wide open three. And I miss. It's all good. We had a good quarter. A good first half in general. I didn't expect to score this much with Paul George, especially with Kawhi Leonard guarding him. He goes under the screen. I nail another three-point shot. So like I said, I'm going into the paint in the, in the third quarter because I'm trying to take advantage of Kemba Walker. Kawhi Leonard with the fadeaway, he makes that one. You can't stop Kawhi all the time. So I'm attacking Kemba Walker here with Malcolm Brogdon. Whenever Kemba's on the floor, you gotta attack him. He has no defense, but he has that killer crossover that he just used, and he gets fouled in the paint. So Kawhi Leonard is in the post again. That was his game plan, posting up Kawhi Leonard. I didn't want to bring double teams. Paul George with the interception. Chris Paul all the way to the paint. So I really love Paul George and Chris Paul in the defense. Van Hus <laughs> Look at the hesitation by Chris Paul. Yo, if you know how to use your players, their moves, their, isola their isolation dribbles, it's going to be really fun. Jay Crowder, wide open three. I put Crowder at the four to stretch the floor, obviously, because I don't want them to clog the paint when I drive in the paint with Chris Paul. Beautiful floater right here. Not a lot of people in this league use the floater, but I use the floater a lot, especially with Chris Paul. He has teardropper on gold, so that's why I use the floater. And in real life, Chris Paul always does floaters anyway. So Chris Paul all the way to the paint again. We get a lot of nice interceptions with this team. Nice screen right there. Paul George isolation, top of the key against Kawhi Leonard. He backs up. I'm going to green the shot. Kawhi <laughs> tries a quick three. He misses a wide open one. I don't know how he missed that, but that's the story of this game. Paul George hesitation gets in the paint. Another nice play right here to Brogdon. Turns into a screen. He goes under again. Green release. Honestly, I was surprised to be greeting a lot of these threes because this was only my second game in the season, so I didn't know the shots properly. Kawhi Leonard shoots over me. He misses. He gets the interception, though. Kawhi goes in the paint and gets fouled. So you have a pretty comfortable lead. I start to bring the double here because it was Malcolm Brogdon. It's a clear mismatch. So I'm bringing the double again, but it doesn't really matter. I contested it nicely. I timed my jump. Again, he's going to pulse with DeAndre Aiden. I'm there with Willie Colley Stein. I'm letting him go on one on one. I don't want to bring a double team unless it's needed. So we have a 17 point lead. Pump fake. Colley Stein gets his own rebound. And we get fouled. So, in terms of my backup big, I'm still deciding who I want to use because my starting big is Robinson. And I really like how he plays so far. So for my backup big, I'm still deciding between Mo Bamba and Willie Colley Stein. So I'm rotating their minutes, seeing what I like out of them. So it's questionable right now, my backup center. I'm hesitating once again. I go back and forth to Chris Paul. He falls asleep. He didn't know what I was going to do. So I'm getting in the paint again. He clogs it. I think that was his game plan. He's clogging the paint. As you can see here, everyone is in the paint. Buddy Heald is in the corner. So once again, Paul George on top of the key. Nice drive in the paint. This time he doesn't miss the dunk. <laughs> that was a nice facial right there. Chris Paul is open. He's playing a heat. I think he switched it up to a zone in the fourth quarter. I, I'm not too sure, but Chris Paul got wide open there. And Kawhi Leonard is posting up on the other side of the court now. I'm not bringing a double team. I trust Paul George. He makes another tough layup. I'm going to live with that. I just don't want to give up open threes. But he healed wide open three. I think he definitely did switch to his own. So right now we're up by almost 20 points against the number one team in the West. Kawhi Leonard does a, a mean dunk. But watch this. I'm going to come right back with Paul George. I can't be outdone. Another step back between the leg dribble crossover <laughs> against Kawhi Leonard. This is a show right here. 
So only one minute and 45 left in the game, but I'm still using it to, to practice with my team. Even though I have a big lead, I'm still practicing. Chris Paul with the interception. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, Chris Paul and Paul George both have the interceptor badge on gold. So in the passing lanes, they're really elite and it helps me out a lot. So seven seconds again in the shot clock, a nice dribble move by Paul George. I get in the paint and I get fouled. So 45 seconds left, Kawhi Leonard isolation once again. There's not too much ball movement out of his team in this quarter. So I'm going to live with that shot, <laughs> especially against Jonathan Isaac. So one bird possession in the game. I'm going to drive with Paul George. Another facial. <laughs> Yo, Paul George is beasting in my second game. Kawhi Leonard with the fadeaway. I jumped this time. It's all good. I'm going to let him live with that. I played good defense most of the game. Just the last possession I jumped, but it's okay. So this game is coming down to an end. We ended up beating the number one team in the West, who was 10 and two by 23 points. It's still a learning curve for our team though, so we can only get better from here. This was still a great game between Kawhi and Paul George. Chris Paul helped out and everyone else played great. Here's the stat line, CP3 with 30, Paul George with 23, Buddy Heal with nine. Everyone else contributed in their own way. Kawhi Leonard, he got his points, but he had to take 26 shots, so we'll live with that. And Kemba Walker only shot one for seven, so we played great defense on him. So if you guys enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a comment. There'll be a lot more coming. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.